Okay, so she's plugged in, there's power in there, look, and there's no light on there. Okay, so this is not charging. Nothing's happening. So what the first thing to do, what we can do is we test this and check to see if we've got any power here. If we've got power here, then we know that it's a problem here. If we haven't got power here, then we know it's a problem with the with the actual charging unit. So let's go and try and find some power. So this should be DC. So what we need to do here is you just need to um, take a picture of that and blow it up, the writing on the bottom of there. But that actually says the output should be 5.5 volts. Okay, so we plug that in there. That's in. We just check we get 5.5 volts there. So let me go and get the All tester. Right, I've got the universal tester here. So we just need to put this onto volts DC which is there, you've got volts, alternating current, and then you've got the straight lines, which is DC. So we've got that on there. All right, and we've got our output in here. So let's just put a, a red in one and a blue, a black in another. It doesn't matter if it's the wrong way around, it'll be a negative. If it's the right way around, it will be a positive. But let's just put them in and see what happens. So we've got that plugged in there, look. Just get to my chest, put them in there, look. And I've got 5.46 volts. Should be 5.5, so that's good enough. So we now know that the charge is working. Charging unit's working, so it's definitely gonna be a problem in there. So let's just take that apart and see how we get on. We're back at the table, taking the, taking the top of the bottle out. So what we're gonna do now is undo these. These are little torque bit screws in here on this side. So I'm just gonna start taking out the torque bits. Let's find a torque bit that fits. Yeah, that one fits in there. I can't read what size that is. I think it's a like T10, is it, or something? I don't know what that is. Anyway, so that's a torque bit, so we're just going to undo these little five screws. All right, we've got the five five screws out from there. So look, this body should start coming apart. So let me just quickly work out how to actually take that apart because it looks like it's clipped in at the bottom there. And I will be back. So the next bit we've got to get off is this, this plastic bit off here, and there's a clip. See, look, there's a clip there. And that clip goes in there, which is sort of screwdriver along the top there to pull that clip out of there. Yeah, and then it clip, and it's also got a little clip in the side there, on the side there, and you can get that off. And then when you get that off, you will find, look, there's one more screw on that side down the bottom here. There's that one more there which is hidden, so you can't get it apart until you take that one off. So let me take that one out. Now with that screw off, this whole side panel here just comes out. Now we've got really into the internals here. So it basically looks like it's an all-in-one unit here. So we can take this out and just check electrical connections in that. All right, so we've managed to pull, pull that out. There's a little switch. Yeah. So you've got your little, your little switch there. Now that light there normally should come green when you plug it in. So what we've already done is just plug that into the power charger again and nothing happens. So let's try and take this further apart and take that off there. Now you've got your little, so your little motor which turns. So this looks like it's a motor and battery pack all in one. It looks like there's some clips there. So let me try and take these clips here and here off and see if that all comes apart. Right, so we've undone those clips. You have uh, two at the bottom here, and there's one at the side, and one at the other side, look. And now we really get into the meat of it, look. You've got your little motor and your battery. So I reckon it could be that battery. So with any luck, we might be able to replace that battery. But uh, that's all sealed. So obviously when you put it back together, make sure it's all watertight. So let me just play around with that and see if I can get that off, and then I will, I will be right. back. I managed to take the whole motor it's all like an assembled little unit. So the, I've got a couple of options. The battery could be stuffed. I've plugged the charger into there and I still have 5.5 volts against those two little terminals there. So power's going into the board. So it could be the battery. Or, if I look down there, look, that one's discolored. That one's okay, that one's okay, but that middle one there is discolored. So what we could possibly do is put a um, soldering iron on there, just to bring that back, because that might have um, oxidized or something. So let's try that. <clears throat> but before I do that, I'm gonna put some 
put the voltmeter across the battery and see what if there's any power in this battery. Okay, so this is a little battery pack I've got. So these are this is a spare battery I've put in there. So I put that on the voltmeter and tested it and I've got 4.1 volts. So what I'm gonna do is put the positive to the positive, the negative to the negative, and we'll see if this kicks into life. All right, guys, we've done it. We've sorted, look, this is now flashing. And this is plugged in. Right, so I've um, I explained to you what's happened. All right, so what happens with these batteries as they get older, they can they can um, discharge, and if you leave them for for a long time, they can discharge way below um, sort of three volts. And this was at one point four, which is telling me that that was the voltage on that was way too low. It's been discharged, so it, the whole system is is just won't even won't even look to think to recharge it when you um, when you try and charge it. So what you need to do is you need to increase this voltage. So what you do is you basically I've connected that to the positive and I connected that to the negative, which now means that because that's got three point, that's got four volts. So between the two of them, that put, jumps the voltage up. And while they're connected like that, you can then plug that in. And indeed, the light is starting to go green. So the system knows that there was enough voltage in there to even start to, to start charging, recharging it. And at that point, you can take that off. Yeah. And the system, the system is continuing to charge. So basically, this is a big problem with these um, these lithium-ion batteries, is that if they get down past a certain voltage, they might be fine, but you you can't recharge them. So you have to sort of trick it, the trick the system, by putting another uh, putting something in parallel over there just to raise the voltage, and then it will start charging. Once it starts, you're good to go. All right. So now we're going to put all that back together again. But that basically means my wife machine is working so i hope this video has been helpful um what i'm going to do now is plug all this back together again and we'll just check that it does actually work but um yeah so let me do that and then i'll finish the video off now i've already put a volt a voltmeter across there and it's charging up at 3.4 volts already so that's kicked this thing all back into life again so i'm going to now assemble this whole unit and see how we get on from there so I've clipped all that back together again. I mean, I was tempted to put like silicon around there again and seal it all up, but I just wanted to make sure that the thing works, okay? So, it's still charging. Now, these units won't charge and run at the same time. So if you just take that out, right, look, let's stop flashing. If you do that, telling me the unit's back working again. So I'm gonna plug that back in and let that charge up now. Uh, so I've put this little top on, they clip in there and there. All right, now you gotta make sure that that's all nice and sealed there, otherwise you'll get, if it, you get water into the system, yeah? So what I'm actually gonna do is put a bit of sellotape over that one, because that one's a little bit loose. But that's all nice and sealed there. So now actually we can reassemble that whole unit. We'll make sure that cable there Onto those little slots down there. All right, so that's all in there nice and tight. So those two bottom clips are there. And then we, now we can put, clip that back on. So this is for more for when you're taking it apart, but just remember, look, you've got a clip there. You've got two clips there, one there, and there, which go in those two slots there. So it fits in there. So when you're trying to take this apart, you've got a clip there. Same on that side there. There we see, look, once that's all clipped in there nicely, that's good to go. So now, if I plug my charger back in, which was the whole reason we had this, it, the thing wouldn't charge, if I chug this back in here, it should. That's the main telltale sign, look. So she's charging. So we've rescued it. We've rescued it from the dump. Because it's not cheap, I don't know what they are, 100 something euros. So uh, yeah, we live, it lives for another day. So, the, so just to re recap, it's just that the voltage on the battery has gone below, like say, I think it's about two and a half volts. And then it won't charge automatically, so you need to then sort of jump it. So um, we can do that, so you have to take it all apart like we've done. But hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel, gets me going. I'm really trying to um, improve the channel, reach out to more people. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, send me a, a message. Um,
So we'll see you on the next uh, see you on the next video. And just remember, the most important thing of the channel is motivation. You can do it. Back in the kitchen, all finished. Charger's in. Look, I've taken the charger out. Obviously, it's not charging anymore, but it works. So, what a result.